Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Diesel. These are your shock guards. They are a prize. They're free. Done and dusted by in the next few hours, right? So stay tuned. Going to give you some information about who needs them, who doesn't, why, and all that sort of thing. And then we're going to ask a few questions. And if you're quick to reply, the first 100% accurate answer or the closest, best, most special, whatever, as per my judgment, whatever the case may be, someone's going to win these and they'll be sent anywhere in Australia. They suit a Prado 150, but don't go anywhere yet. Just because you haven't got a Prado 150, you could have a Prado 120 or other vehicle uh, that you might want these for if you're touring the Australian Outback. So there, as I said, rear shock absorber guards for a Prado, as in Toyota, Land Cruiser, Prado, LC 150. That's what they suit. Um, as per the video, you may have seen on my channel under the suspension information playlist or under the announcements on Oz Prado Crew, our Australian Facebook page, um, you might have seen the video showing, you know, it actually goes through why you need them, shows the damage on what happens without them, about approximately, I can't say what month, how many Ks, too much, because I wasn't sure how long these have been on the car, and it wasn't that long at all, and just have a look how much they're punished, like the rocks, they really cop a beating from here upwards, obviously less as you go higher, but all the way to the end, really, and you can see it tapers off as you get around the edge here, right? So, uh, shock guards. Now, who needs them? So, if you've got the Dobinson's monotubes or similar suspension, for example, um, they're the ones that are prone to damage. Now, I'm not saying there's a problem there, but, you know, we ran them for quite a while. Um, and lots of rocks hitting them and hitting the boots. And it looked like there was no damage. But we just recently because we removed them from one of our Prados as you know if you've been following and we've just refitted them recently into our you know one week old two week old Prado just really fresh Prado uh, this year January 2020 2022 2021 or so too many too many twos and zeros and all that right so 22 definitely January 22 um, and we noticed a couple of things and one of them was that some rocks had got through probably a dozen rock hits to the shaft through the boot and of course little holes in the boot i'm not worried about the holes in the boot but the damage to the shaft it's obviously been that a long time there's no leaks so the seals are really good we're told that and i believe it from what i've seen and of course the bottom of the shock doesn't always fully compress and get that far up to cause a lot of problems for you but you want to avoid it if you can so can have upgraded to some different rear shock guards um the number for those is ks0379 for the 150 protos that's what we've got for our newer 150 Prado we thought we'd upgrade and there's nothing wrong with these though they do the job so if you're gonna if you're planning to travel the Australian Outback it's mainly for dirt roads lots of dirt roads with at speed with you know you know those corrugated type dirt roads with rocks and you're spitting rocks everywhere this is one trip right cops an absolute beating anyway right so let's get on to the questions um of the questions you need to answer sorry i got a bit distracted so i just had to take a little break for a minute now so who needs them if you've got twin tube shockers like the dobinson's twin tubes you know the yellow ones they're exactly that they're a twin tube so when the rock hits them it only damages generally only damages the outer tube so there's no problem with the inner tube now with the mono tubes if you had them mounted traditionally with the uh you know <clears throat> you know how they normally go Let's just call it the normal, not upside down. You know, how do we keep it simple? Then that could get damaged because it's a mono tube, that single tube. That means if it gets hit by a rock dented, it could damage the operation. The piston's going to get caught up on the dents and seals, you know, whatever, right? Problems is what it means. And there's so many problems you can have with suspension. It may seem simple, but there can be some problems, you know, if things aren't done properly. We're not going to go into it too much in this one. We're going to try and keep it short, but I'm trying to deliver some info at the same time. So we put them upside down. They're mounted upside down, and that's where the boot's at the bottom and the shaft's at the bottom instead of at the top. So the boot's pretty good. The boot's tough. They're not getting smashed to pieces and deteriorated. We well and truly tested that. I'm quite impressed with it. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought I was going to be showing a Domlinson's going, hey, have a look at this. I think you better upgrade this. But we used them ourselves. We tested them. I, I was amazed with them. And that's where I said, well, you know, you can have them if you want. And it's gone from you can have them if you want. You want to, we've got heaps of people using these and they've been out for years now, so obviously it's not an issue. Net, we've never had a leak in even one Dobinson's monotube, so they're really good. But when we saw those shafts on our suspension, which we probably, as I said in that video, we probably punish them more than anyone else, I was concerned, okay? And it's changed my position to 
anybody if you're going to use them around the high country or on beaches or on the road or little trips here and there you'd probably be okay without them but it wouldn't hurt to have them and if you're going to travel in the outback on those outback dirt roads you know the tanami you know the uh the gib river road or whatever let's not stand there and name all the roads whatever you know the ones i'm talking about at speed um you're going to probably risk end up you're going to damage stuff anyway you're going to damage the bolt if you saw the right video by now you see the bolts damaged it's got a lot of information in it that you might need shortly uh, you'll see that the bolts damaged and it's just damaging you know it's damaging the product where this is going to protect the product so you've got the upgraded version you can get from car.com.au or you can answer some questions and get these for free we're going to send them anywhere in australia so if you've got the twin tubes or other types of suspension like for example arb the nitro the yellow ones they sell some little guards for those but look you don't really need them but you can have them on there whatever these are the serious guards if you want serious protection just because you haven't got monotrims doesn't mean they won't be helpful. They may be helpful. They need to be fitted correctly. I suggest lock tight, nice and tight, but not too tight. Of course. Now, let's just get on with the questions because people are going, give me these questions so I can win these guards. All right, so what year car did we fit them to is your first question. Your second question is what month and year were they fitted to the vehicle? Okay, and that's all in videos. Uh, what trip so they've only done one trip since they were fitted one major trip when I say one trip and if you've been following our fall before adventures channel you should know that one big trip that they were used on and all this right all of this right and I'll draw a picture for you right so up to Broken Hill up through New South Wales through Queensland a bit of moving around you know around Birdsville to Thargaminda and back and forth and left and right and all that anyway up to Karumba across the top across the across the NT you know, all these places and across Gibb River Road. We went one way. We didn't go two ways. So one way down the Gibb River Road, we went up to Mitchell Falls. So one trip, all this has happened. Imagine without them anyway. So what trip? You were, I just gave it away, didn't I? <sighs> Bucking me. Well, lucky we've got a few questions here. That's why I sort of went, well, one or two questions. We've got five. And I think we just gave one away. What trip? There you go. You figure it out. Um, whatever the best answer for what trip it is. So the more information you provide... I'm going to be looking at the replies in Oz Prado crew to the replies to this video mainly. And if you can put a photo of your subscription, that's going to help you as well. And we're just going to, it's all a bit of fun. Someone's got these for free. We've upgraded. Nothing wrong with these. We just upgraded. What brand are they? What brand are they? And where were they made? Okay. <laughs> what brand are they and where, and where are they made? And what are they made from? Let's add that in there as well. So as much any of that sort of information you've got, and we'll see who's got the best answer. And the last one, I think I already explained it in this video. Why is it important to have these? Okay, so it's the first to comment or reply on Oz Proto Crew with a hundred percent accurate, awesome answer is Butter Bing the winner. If it's not, you know, hundred percent, and there's another answer that comes, so the longer it takes to get a better answer, might be too late if you know what I mean. But if we get a better answer in time. You know, so if the first answer is 90%, well, that's a winner. But if we wait two hours to get, it might be too late, you know. So, look, it's one of those things. We're leaving it pretty loose. Hopefully, you've got some answers, all right? And we're also going to be checking the replies on YouTube. For those people that aren't on Oz Proto Crew, straight away, I'm going to check the comments to this video on YouTube over the first hour or two. And if there's a really awesome answer there answering those questions we just asked, and I'll quickly go through them again. Um then they could be the winner. So anyone anywhere in Australia, I'm not sending them overseas, right? These are easy to box up. There's going to be other prizes as well. So you want to get on our Facebook groups. You want to get on our both of our YouTube channels, subscribe. There's going to be some other stuff ongoing whenever we've got stuff. Some new, some, you know, recycled. We'll call this recycled if you like. So what year car was it fitted to? What month and year was it fitted to the vehicle? What trip was it used on? What brand are these and where are they made? And why is it important to have them? There are your five questions. Go for it. Uh, Bada bing. I reckon by about 10.30 p.m. Melbourne time, it's a butter bing, butter boom. I'm going to go, thanks, mate. Butter bing, you've got it. And if there's no replies, well, we'll have an auction. But, you know, let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you uh, butter binged it and butter boomed it. And good luck. Like it, subscribe, turn the bell on, and butter bing it. See ya.